Pixelated Twix and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another one and done featuring my time at Sandrock. You guys don't know how excited I am about this game because I play my time at Porsche on my lonesome time, like when I'm not recording and so when I have a little downtime to actually play something else besides what I normally play, um, which doesn't happen too often, but I am still playing through the game. Sorry about that. That was Gracie in the background. Um, so anyways, there was a demo that had been uh, uploaded to Steam and I downloaded this bad boy as soon as I saw it. So I'm so grateful for this week of demos. I'm going to get a chance to play a lot of games, like kind of try it before you buy it. And I love it. OK, so let's get into this. I am completely ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and pick a new game. I had started playing a little bit, needed to test out the sound and things like that and found out that I'm going to really need to turn the volume down for the music because the music just really um, was too loud, no matter how low I um, lowered it. So we just went ahead and turned it completely off. So uh, let's get into this character customization. So there is male and female as normal. We're going to go ahead and change the name right now to Pix. And uh, let's see. Let's get to the customization. Now, the customization in um, this iteration is freaking amazing. They did a um, banner job. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and do real basic customization just because I know that I will be playing this game uh, once again when it comes out. And I wanted to want to be able to, um, you know, adjust my face and things like that uh, and pay more attention to it on my own time. Um, usually I take a long time in customization, but we won't do too much here. Um, I love how you can make the face a little bit long, long, rounder and a little more on the mo model-esque side. Hmm? Model-esque? Statuesque? Model-esque is not a word. I just made up a word. I've become my father. I really have. Okay, so we're going to leave that as that. We're going to confirm that. And then we're going to check out the hair. So really like the hair. It's not a lot to go on right now. They've got a little cute little um, bun here. And then you can add bangs. You can also add a ponytail. And you can go all the way down her, girl, her back. Listen, listen, look at all that hair, okay? And we can lengthen the bangs. We got a little anime look going, so I love that. All right, so let's fix up our hair. I want to go with, uh, like, on the brown side. Maybe maybe we'll go blue. Let's go blue. I'm feeling, oh, let's do green. I've never really done green before. Let's do green, okay? Let's just be different. Um, so maybe not that shade of green. Maybe, maybe we can go a little bit. Okay, that looks black um that looks a little too green but i know that we can add another color so let's darken the, oh that's too let's darken the green up a little bit and go something like that i don't know i just felt like green today i don't know um something different all right so now we want to check out the ears i like the ears where they're at so we won't go too much into that oh I completely passed uh, the eyebrows and um, the eyebrows and forgot what else. So eyebrow shape pretty much is kind of like up and down here. So we'll, we're going to bring it down here. Eyebrow thickness. We'll make her a little bit thicker and bring these down a little bit. We don't want her to look like she's always surprised. So bring that down and the length. We'll just keep it at the, the current length that it is. And eye color. So my eye color, we're going to go with my eye color. And I love how you can change the um, pupils of the eyes to different shapes. Like, look at this. That is so cute. I like the over-exaggerated color here. So we're going to go with this. I like that. And we're going to change her eye color to green because because mine is a green and I like the green. It matches her. It matches her. Okay. Okay. Um, and highlight color, we're going to make, give her like a blue-ish green color because I like it. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So confirm that and then a pupa color. Pupa color, we're going to make black. Black is black. Um, hmm. eye distance rotation. Let's just check out the rotation. Oh, I love that. 
So even like you can do the width of the eye. Oh, I love that. Okay. So eye spacing. We're going to bring your eyes. Oh, so that changes like where the pupils go. What? Okay. <gasps> wow. Okay. Straight up. This is like one of the best um, jobs I've ever seen on a game like this. Okay. So nose. Mm -hmm. I kind of like her nose that way, but I kind of want to make her nose size. Oh, iPad can be so disrespect disrespectful sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and widen her nose up a little bit. And uh, can I widen her bridge? No, that's not the bridge of your nose, but okay, whatever. We'll keep it like that. Um, nose length is fine for now. I mean, we won't go too much into detail. So I like her mouth. Can we make her lips? Yeah, sticking the lips up. Okay, that's not exactly thick, thick, but we'll go with it. Um, can we get rid of this lipstick here? Uh, nope. So we can't, we can't, we can't. Yikes. Okay. Um, ooh, cancel. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's, oh goodness. Yeah. No. Um, okay. Well, I guess you can't really choose not to wear lipstick. Wow. That looks like when you're a kid and you try your mom's lipstick and you draw all out the lines. Um, she does have thicker lips. I do not like that at all. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay, that's a little better, actually, a little bit of the orange tint. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. It, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, actually, it's kind of cute. So there's eyeshadow. I don't want to do eyeshadow. I kind of like this. Blush. Let's give her some rosy cheeks. Um, maybe not so rosy. No, let's, let's not. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. Face tattoos? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's go with the blue. Wait, 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 wait. Face tattoo. Change it. Color. Blue. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's see if we can darken that. Yes, I love it. Okay. Let me turn this off because this is rude. This is so rude. Hold on really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and finish up here and hit play. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys do not understand how long I've been wanting to play this. Oh, hush, hush. That's me. Hi. Okay, let's just say that was the epic beginning right there. Hi there, you must be pigs. I'm Mayan, the other new builder. I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mayan, or is it Mian? Mayan or Mian? Or is it like Sade or Sadie? Okay, we don't know. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder at the commissioner are there. Uh, the retirement builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Let's just take a look at this background. Beautiful. It is gorgeous. It is. The colors are saturated. The art style is typical. My time at Porsche, but just upgraded a little bit. I am in love with this. Look how the feet in the sand Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, all the details. Yeah. Okay, so sprint. We're in sprinting. See what's going on over here. How you doing? 
Howdy there, Picks. I'm Yan, president of the Sandrock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada, yada, yada. I'll be overseeing you in my end, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me as more of a buddy that's your supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring, hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already, what I'm talking about anyway. See that workshop over there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And for other people, too, I guess. Well, I am now speechless, Mason. As an established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple things inspiring to... Uh, wait. Let's read that again. Well, now I'm speechless, Mason. As the established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Uh, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> My workshop is now yours, Pix. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place is a lot of heart. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if excuse me, I'm off to the blue moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my Yachtmel milk on. He was always a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I'll need y'all a bit, need to tell y'all a bit how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different from here than what you're used to. To start with, there ain't too many trees around here, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's frowned upon anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's pick with hammer, just as the name implies. We use it not only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up old wood scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at the work table. Why don't you two try making one for yourselves? You'll be needed and right anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But you know, no rush. See you there. True, it's pretty easy to make. Well, it should be able to find the stone and wood where we need just by searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. It is. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already ready, getting pretty acquainted with around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. Well, I mean, it's just right... Okay. I'm just saying it's right there. Too snowsy. No, she's my friend. We're friends already. Ooh, I like it. Mason's workshop. Okay. So, hmm, kind of slim pickings, but at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. I mean, it's better than nothing. You know, Sandrock is still well known across the free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of want to say something to you privately. Um, see, the reason why I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing so well for itself. Everybody in the free city knows that, but I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it would be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it all, give it our all, okay? Phew, well, I'm off to make my pig hammer. See you around. Bye. Check your missions, L. Okay. So this is the new UI. I like it. So I need to make a tool. I need to make the pig hammer. And there's my rewards. What is all this? This is the main quest, side quest. Okay. So this is all the stuff and things up here. New socials, new people. Don't know. Who am I going to romance? I don't know. Uh, map. Okay. So this is what the map is looking like so far. Scroll out. See how far this goes out. Not sure. Looks like it goes out pretty far. Um, I'm already excited to see what they're going to add. So from what I heard, there was some delays on the actual uh, release of this game or like the, like for the people that backed it um, for their copy. So I'm not sure what all that entails, but it sounds like there was some issues with um, like the rating system or something. Anyways, let's see. Hold E, collect resources. Okay. What do we got? 
Um, so what do we get? We got stone and dregs. What? What exactly are dregs? What is that? Uh, that's stone. This is, oh, power stones. I can't remember that. Um, what is a drag? This drab pile of material seems to be lacking in any distinctive characteristics. Even recycling it wouldn't result in anything useful. Might be useful as a makeshift substitute for fuel, however. Oh, okay. Cool. Sweet. Okay, so junk pile. Oh. Kind of startled me there. I like it. Cool beans. So I wonder if the train comes in and out of town. So let's try to gather as much as we can from these junk piles. So I'm not really sure exactly what we need to make a pickaxe. I didn't even check. I just looked at the pickaxe and didn't even look. I think let's just, let's check the work table. Um, okay, so I need... I can make two. Okay, craftable items are shown here. The number in red tells you how many of this item you need to make for your current mission, which is one. Okay. So click here to make the item. Awesome. So... A special pick hammer that can not only dig for ores in the ruins, but also can be used to turn to bring into use usable materials. Okay. All right. Um, is that all? What do we got? Furniture, resources, equipment. Okay. So I can make two of these. What is this? Dilapidated furnace. Can I, can I do stuff? Sweet. Nice. Um, oh. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> I think I broke it up. I thought I was fixing it. I've already done messed up. Mm, okay, well, let me just head over. Hey, how are you? Who are you? Justice. Hi, Justice. You must be one of the new builders. Well, Justice is my name and Justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around here, these parts. Head of the Civil, uh, civil Court. Yep, I can read. Hi. Just in case it wasn't clear, we at the Civil Corps are here to help. If you ever, core, Civil Corps, Brandy, Civil Corps are here to help. <laughs> if you're ever in any kind of trouble, you just holler and we'll come a running. That's the Civil Corps official promise. Okay. Can I call your name? How do I call your name? Justice. Justice. Okay, I'm stop. I'm stop. I'm stopping. I promise. I'm done. No, I'm not. I'm lying. Mine, I'm having fun. Leave me alone. What is this? What's over here? What's all this stuff? Ooh, can we go in the water? Do not siphon water. Maybe I shouldn't try the water yet. Maybe I should leave well enough alone. Ooh, clean up. What's this? Oh, more dregs. So we can clean up like random trash off the ground. Okay. Uh, so let's go in here. What is this? Wanted Logan. Outlaw. I read. Wanted dead or alive. If you see this man, do not engage. Report immediately to the Civil Corps. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of this vile perpetrator. Ooh, ooh. Oh, space. I did. Space. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, will be rewarded handsomely in the sum of 1,000 goals. 100,000 goals? <laughs> oh my gosh, I am smart. S-M-A-R-T. Okay. Ooh, I love it. Love that chandelier. Okay, hey, Jan. Jan. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It's the soul of the desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Now let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machines that synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open it to open it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much, you'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish it. Bye now. All right. Okay, so let's head back over to the homestead. Because that's basically what it is. It's homestead, right? Kind of, sort of. I wonder if there's going to be any farming in this one. I would say that there's some. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we would be, what 
is that over there? A bumble ant? Oh my gosh, they're adorable. They're so cute. What are they gathering? Oh, they got teeth. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so let's head back over here because we have to make a recycler. So what do we need to make a recycler? So we need stone trowel. Trowel. Trowel, trowel, trowel. Uh, stone, 12 of those, three wood, green clovers, blue diamonds, purple horseshoes. Okay, so grinding saws, I know you make those at the work table. And the rest of the stuff I think we have to gather except for this here. I'm assuming we have to make it the work table as well. So, oh, okay, open diagram to check what you need to build this machine and how to get the given materials. Okay, I mean, I kind of know how to do this already, but, you know, for the sake of the video... So we need to go here to make these items, and I don't think I can make any right now. So I need more stone, it looks like, and I need more Dinas. Okay, so the... Okay, when you start assembling, it went away. Didn't get to read it. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what I can get the... Let's try this. Yeah, I kind of figured I wasn't going to be able to use that. So larger stones require you to upgrade your pick hammer to break apart. Okay, so we can't do that. Can we do these? Yes. So this... Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. No. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm so sorry for screaming. I do not like scorpions. I do know someone that does, however. We're not going to name any names, you know, because I don't think she's all the way sane. Love you. <laughs> but uh, Miss Brith Gaming, she loves scorpions. Never heard anyone say that they love scorpions. Nope. That's like someone saying they love spiders. But I do know a couple of people that love spiders. I happen to... Fo oh, level two. So do I level up now? So what do I do? do? Here you can see all of your stats. Okay. These are your clothing equipment slots. Okay. That's pretty basic stuff here. Nice. Um, and this is where you can change equipment. Okay. So can I level my character? Level? Nope, that's locked. Okay, so I guess we can't do that yet. Either it's locked or it's just not available in the game yet, which is fine. This is still, you know, in a whip. Still, I think this is, I don't know if this is alpha. I don't think you would call it alpha. This is probably more like a beta. Uh, because I don't think any pass my time in Sand Rock will be released this year. I didn't recall seeing anything like that. Can we pick any of this stuff up now? Ooh, oregano, yummy. I love the smell of like fresh herbs like oregano, cilantro, uh, basil. Yum. What is this? Sand date. Hmm. Delicious. Oh, you know, that looks familiar. Could I pick that up before in uh, Porsche? I don't know. Okay, so it looks like I might have enough. Dang it, those scorpions. Um, oh, let's just get this last one. I really love how her feet, her, her feet print, her footprints. <laughs> oh my gosh, you would think that uh, I was illiterate the way I speak half the time. Uh, but her footprints kind of show up. Ooh, what is that? Sandworm. Gather. What? Is that for fishing? Probably. Oh, tumbleweed. <gasps> oh, look. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Y'all. Oh, my endurance is low. I can, I can kick the tumbleweed. <gasps> and you can get plant fire burn wood. Oh, what is that? A yak mail. This is where you get the milk from. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh. You know. But let's get it just in case we need it. I don't know. I'm just out here gathering stuff. I probably don't really need it. Yep, we're going to leave that alone. Hot chick. That looks dangerous. Oh, they're coming after me. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh probably should have never went over there.
See, I should have known better when the icon above the chicken was red. Plus, a hot chicken is probably not too happy. Um, so do I have enough stuff to make this? I have wood. Okay, I have enough wood. So do I need to have this stuff on my taskbar? We'll see. Yes. Um, wait, what? Check the quality of your item. Low quality preferred, high quality preferred. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So let's go to our inventory. Put all this stuff on our taskbar. Let's see. This was a stone tro You know what? I This came from the furnace. I jacked that up. Not sure if I can make that again. I did need this. What is this here? Quartz. Okay, so... Oh, I need to make a stone trough so I can make two of those and then I need to make these I make two of those okay so now put this here and here and let's wait let's put this here okay wait what okay uh stone trough so to confirm, did I do it right? Okay. And I need to, okay, grain saw. Oh, so it's asking for the wood. Okay, gotcha. Um, I guess three, confirm. And then I need the grinding saws. So seven, that's eight, and Whoa, to confirm. Okay, so confirm. Compliance. Confirm. Okay. Well, look at that pretty sunset. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this area. Like, this is so. Ooh, what's your name? Bamna? 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 How you doing? Rocky thinks he's the boss, which he is a name, but I think we all know who really calls the shots around here. You. I bet. You. Okay, so we made the um, recycler, and so we now we need to go back to... Ooh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't make it. We did not make it. Oh my gosh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. I think it's been way too much time messing around. Did not... I didn't even pick this up. You guys would think I was a noob. Okay, so we escape and let's head back out. Hi, Rocky. You know, I would talk to y'all, but I have to head back and it's getting late. And I'm not sure if everything's gonna shut down on me. So I definitely wanna get this, at least get this quest done. So let's head in, talk to Jan. All right, hey, Jan. Hey, there you are. No need, no, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our town down to the ground. <laughs> uh, yeah. The main thing is to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have any questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely not me in anything related building whatsoever. Can't read. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. What kind of help are you, Jan? So now that you have the basic knowledge of a desert building... Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and Registry Workshop? Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda is taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. So where's the mayor? Oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in Eufaula Desert. Puh. Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? Say she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. Now that went dark. Oh, by the way, found a couple of extra diagrams. I was probably going to throw them away. Er, but why don't I, but why would I do that when I could just recycle them? To you. No need to thank me. Consider it a new employee bonus thingy. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Okay, so we got another job. What is this? Ooh, so it's a little guy. Nice. <laughs> So honestly, this has a lot of um, different um, ways to get you started if you didn't play My Time at Porsche and you just, this is like your first My Time game, I guess, My Time at game. This is 
a great way to uh, jump in. So um, let's head over to speak to Matilda, right? The administrator. I think that's what he said her name was. So let's go over there. Ooh, who are you? Unser? Unser? Hey, I'm Unser, a member of the local civil corps. There are dangerous elements all around town, just as a criminal gang led by Logan or the aggressive Gigglers. They don't sound friendly. You should be careful. Thank you. What do you else have to say? Even though the Civil Corps here is shorthanded, we still do our best to keep you safe. Well, thank you, Unser. Unser, Unser. Okay. Hey, Justice. Hey, Professor Ogley. <laughs> um, oh. Who's that? Who the, what the? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's you. The new builder. Ha, huh, silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. Okay, that totally just went by fast. Um, Pin, protector of Sandrock, enforcer of the Church of the Light. And your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know, the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Little old me, defend myself? Oh my goodness. Hmm, it's decided. I, the magnificent pen, the protector of Sandrock, as five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Thank you. I'll pass. You know what? Let's go ahead. Splendid. Let's go. Oh boy. Just probably passed on it. Probably should have. You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. You are so dramatic. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which, all the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Oh, yeah? Come at me, bro. Um, should we go sword and board? Should we go... Rogi dagger? Should we go two-handed or should we go with the spear? I'm thinking daggers would be my weapon of choice. Okay. All right, picks. Let's go. Come. Come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. He thinks I'm a wimp. Is that all you got? Don't tell me skip leg day. Yeah. Okay, you can swing a weapon around. We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? How oh, rude. Uh, all opponents have a toughness rating. When you break their toughness, they will enter a break state where they will flinch at your attacks. Okay, so I just need to keep attacking. Okay, your enemy's defenses are broken. Take this chance to go for a combo attack. All right. Didn't know you... Don't you know any other moves? I'm getting bored. Really? Dodging. Now it's my turn. What are you going to do? Beat up on a girl? Oh, goodness. I'm alive again. On guard. Oh. Endurance slow. Oh, jeez, jeez. Oh, jeez. He, he hurts. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm probably supposed to, to, to lose this battle, aren't I? I can read you like a book in the arms. Oh. You missed. Oh, sheesh. Oh. Enough. I grow weary of this. Time to get What? <laughs> that was brutal. And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled never mess with pen i hope you learned something i sure had fun teaching it whatever the first thing i would do if i were you is go back to your work table and craft a weapon but that's just me farewell skinny arms he likes me all right let's go in this is city hall this is where we need to be hello Ooh, she looks fabulous i like her she's got a cape and every and a cane Look at her. Why, hello there. You must be pigs. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of the Lot, filling in here for Mayor Trudy. 
We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sand Rock. If you're here, that means you must have passed Yan's little edition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. Okay, so um, I don't know what I'm going to do for my workshop name. So, um, I don't know. Let's call it Tinker. Tinker Town. Tinker. Tinker. Tinker Cottage. Why not Tinker Cottage? Confirm. That'll do. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a renamed car from the City Hall store. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in San Rock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm. I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally, we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then, and congratulations again, Builder. May you bring Telesis to San Rock. What the heck is Telesis? Is it Telesis or Telesis? Let me know. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Okay, so we need to go back to Yan. Yan. And um, I want to say his name is Yan. And uh, so... Ooh, what's this over here? I just want to see. Check this out. Are these horses? <gasps> They're camels. Andy. Sandy. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so Logan's still at large. Vandal, saboteur, water thief, and all-around perpetrator of bad behavior. Band leader Logan remains at large somewhere in Eufaula. Eufaula? His whereabouts remain a mystery, eluding even the sharpest minds in San Rock law enforcement. If super pen is what you call law enforcement, I can see why. Um, okay, so we'll just, we'll subscribe. Subscribe, the monthly issue of Tumbleweed Standard will be delivered to your mail. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so let's head out. I like that. So we don't have to keep coming back here to read the board. We can just, whose workshop is this? Okay, I'm just, I'm just looking, I'm nosy. Okay, so who, oh, okay, I thought that was somebody standing up there. Oops. <laughs> well, what's going on? Hi, man. Oh, hey, Pix. Did you get a message from Jan saying emergency come now as well? Uh, no. Wonder what the emergency, wonder what's the emergency. <laughs> I can't read. I wonder what's going on. Like, why are we being summoned? I love the little... Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. oh I thought he's going to get hit on... Uh, don't you buddy me, pal, since Mason's... Okay, I'm all befuddled here. <laughs> all my stuff. Uh, okay, something about I got to give you a beat down. Sorry, pal, but... Whoa, whoa, Rocky. Rocky. Calm down there. Uh, wait, no, Rocky. Look, what I mean is, sir, I was bringing in new people. Um, did we come at a bad time? I think we might have. I think we might have. No, no, you came at the perfect time. Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufola Salvage, and he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. Okay. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few months or so. But and now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands or help out, right? Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that, Pix? Our first big job. See, they're up for it. What do you say, buddy pal? All right, Yan. Against my better judgment, I'm going to give you one more chance. Great. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners. Oh, it's wrong voice. <laughs> Great. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know that big looking ruins right over next to Pix's workshop. 
my pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each of you can make a lift easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If any Yan's doing, if only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to. And hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally we charge a weekly fee for access, but here, take a few, take a free one week pass. Take a free few one week passes. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done, install it for me as well. Kay already drew me up a diagram for a lift, so here, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. Oh, he is sorry. My back was hurting. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to go take a look at Rocky Salvage Yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Yeah, about that furnace. <laughs> well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best picks. Uh, I might have I might have destroyed my furnace. Uh, maybe we should talk to him. Maybe he'll have a diagram for a furnace. Oh, it's you again. Say, since I've got you, did I ever explain the commission board to you? No, but I can figure it out myself. Well, for the sake of the viewers... No, how does it work? All right, then, newbie, listen up. Because I don't want to have to repeat myself. Well, he's a slime ball, <laughs> kind of. The most important commissions that I'll need you to do, well, don't you worry about that. I'll make sure you know about those. Rocky's crane lift, for example. But for everything else, there's a commission, there's a commerce guild commission board inside the guild. Townsfolk post less urgent commissions there. You should pick those up right away. Good for you, good for the guild. Each commission gets a star rating. One star means it's easy. Five star means it's for pros only. Want to feel the glory and the reap and reap the rewards of five star commissions? Gotta start at the bottom and build your workshop equipment and reputation. Since you're a newbie, you can only take one per day. Finish it up quick, then pick up a new commission the next day. As you raise your star rating, you'll be able to take on multiple commissions per day. At the end of the year, we here at the guild count up who's been doing what around the town and divvy out awards to the top performers. The rewards for taking first place are pretty sweet. Er, but I won't concern yourself with that so much. I mean, I've never lost. <laughs> yeah, but I'm here now. Well, that's about does it. Got everything? Yep, I got it. That's good, newbie. You listen to the speech as well. I dare say you have middle management written all over you. See you around. So you're the pro the antagonist, I can tell. What's over here? Is this the commission board? So I can take commissions already. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Ooh. I mean, let's go ahead. This expires. Does this say one year? Oh, time to finish two days after accepting. Well, let's not do that quite yet. Let's work on uh, what we're supposed to do um, over in the yard. But in the meantime, it is late in the game and in real life. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and end it here. I think I can actually save it here. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Okay, guys. Um, until next time, I do want to thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this one and done so far. It looks like there's still some... Um, game left to play so I'm excited to get back in also I do need to finish up the other one and done series and uh, then I'll give you my final thoughts on both of them I have a few more games to go over too so we're going to be busy hope you're up for it anyways guys I hope you enjoyed it again thanks for stopping by until next time I've been Pixelated Twix ciao